over here because you can't see me. Mm -mm. Face me. Come down. It's gonna have to come around to the front. Yeah. Perfect. We both already know your place is my place now. My place is your place. Oh, yeah, I'm trying to get a seat. Maybe you know what I'm saying. There we go. Hey, y'all. Oh my God, it's two in the morning. Wow. Is that better, y'all? Hey, boo. Welcome. Let's see if I bring you closer. Welcome. Welcome. Hey, y'all. I'm letting everybody get over here. Hey, beautiful. Chris. Which door did you go out of? You sure? There's something. You heard it? Don't open that door. No, it's closing. Mm -hmm. And nothing. Just wait. It was really loud. Okay. It sounded like it was in here. Hey, y'all. Welcome, y'all. Come on in here. Make sure y'all hit the like button. I got one more post to make. Hold on a minute. We getting it popping. Okay, so listen, you guys. Tonight, um, 
we're just gonna do a really quick live we're only gonna be on for about 30 minutes i hope you guys all know how much i love you and how much i appreciate you i really really appreciate you guys coming on welcome if you are new let me just be the first one to say welcome thank you so much for supporting me i really really appreciate you guys i love each and every one of you um oh thank you maria um i want you guys to know that there will be no me without you so thank you for watching me thank you for supporting me thank you for sharing my content Thank you for making sure that you comment and letting me know what you like, what you don't like. You know what I'm saying? Because that means a lot to me. If you're watching over, hey, Corrine, hey, boo. If you're watching over on the book, hey, girl, to all my beautiful queens over there. If you are joining me for the very, very first time, hey, Miss Evelyn, hey, Rose. Um, and you know, you're new, please let me know that you are new so that way I or hey, Jamira, welcome, beautiful, so that I or one of the moderators can say, Hey, girl, what's up? So, listen, if you're watching this on the playback, hey, boo, welcome. So, listen, we're gonna do something a little bit new tonight. Um, we kind of gonna have a car chat. I love you so much, y'all know that. Um, if you can come on over here on youtube and make sure that you are subscribed put your notification bell on so that way each and every time i go live you will get a notification now listen y'all this camera is different the setup is different everything is a little bit different tonight this is my very first time on this camera i've never gone live live on this camera before so bear with me and forgive me okay everything thank you everything may not be perfect now bear with me for just a moment un momento while i just get everything together Okay, y'all. So I want to get something out of the way real quick, fast, and in a hurry. We're going to do something a little bit different, y'all. Notification gang! Yes! <laughs> gang, gang! I love y'all. We're going to do something a little bit different. And this was supposed to be a car chat. I'm just going to be honest with you. I've got a couple of Dear Joy letters that I'm going to be reading to you guys. Okay? Listen. You just found me today and you are already, yes, welcome. Hello, hey, everybody. Karen, you, Karen, this, this is why, oh my goodness, this is lit. Okay, this is why I mess with, I'm trying not to cuss, y'all. I'm trying to be a lady. But this is why I F with the queendom because the queendom don't play. Sis is watching me on Facebook and YouTube. That's why I, hey boo i love you so much yeah i had to mute it for a second y'all i had to say something but anyway so this was supposed to be a car chat y'all but i was so busy today i didn't get it done in time enough so that way we're gonna do something different and we're gonna do a car chat but we're gonna do weigh in on it okay so you guys are gonna come and weigh in on it now let me just go ahead and set the rules i want you to be absolutely honest and open Y'all know this is an open forum. You can give your opinion, right? So I want you to be able to, oh my God, welcome. Thank you so much. I love you so much. Hey, boo. I want you to be able to give your honest 100% opinion. And this is what I need y'all to do. I don't want nobody making anybody feel a certain type of way because of their opinion. Listen, be respectful, be kind to each other, but let everybody have their own unique opinion, okay? let let Listen, if sis don't agree with you, that don't mean she's stupid. That don't mean nothing other than thumbnail. That don't mean nothing other than she just got an opinion that's a little bit different than you. That's all that means, okay? So I want you guys to get ready, sit back, 
No, not about me. It's going to be, I have some Dear Joy letters that I have supposed to have been, um, hey, boo, I'm so glad you found me. I have some Dear Joy letters that I'm supposed to have been reading to you guys, and I was supposed to do a car chat, but I got so busy, I hadn't had a chance to get them done. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the next 30 to 45 minutes and we're going to weigh in on these Dear Joy letters. I'm going to read them to you and you guys are going to give your 100% opinion, unadulterated opinion. I want you to talk to, like if you was talking to a best friend, don't hold nothing back. Don't like, I don't want y'all to like try to save anybody's feelings. None of that. I want you to give your 100% unadulterated opinion, okay? Because it's basically like help a sister out. You know what I'm saying, right? So I want everybody to feel like heard, and I want everybody to feel supported. You know what I'm saying? So I love you guys. I'm happy that you're here. I love you guys so much. So listen, this video is brought to you by Dossier. You guys know I love Dossier. You know I love luxury perfume, but I don't like luxury prices. Y'all know I got about 200 bottles of perfume, right? Dossier is sponsoring this live, and they're sponsoring and doing a collaboration with me. One of my most recent favorite Dossier perfumes is Ambery Cherry. Okay? Ambery Cherry. This is my third bottle. Okay? Third bottle of Ambery Cherry. And Ambery Cherry is the Tom Ford dupe. Um, and y'all know that Tom Ford dupe is like, I mean, that Tom Ford original is like two or $300 a bottle. But listen, girl, I ain't going to even front. I just sprayed that in my mouth. But we're not going to, we're going to keep it moving. But I absolutely love that Ambery Cherry. It's one of my absolute favorites. One of my absolute favorite perfume so y'all make sure y'all going over there to dossier y'all know i always give y'all a coupon code i do not get any money or any kit back for y'all shopping with dossier i get absolutely no money like as far as every time you purchase that 10 percent does not come to me i don't get an affiliate link i don't get a commission they send me perfumes and we collaborate, and I tell you guys, if it stank, I'm going to tell you it stank. If it smelled good, I'm going to tell you it smelled good. So my favorite is Ambery Cherry. The other one that I like is the rhubarb one, which is the Mark, wait, Mark Jacobs. Perfect. Okay? Done with that. So mm -hmm. y'all go get your dossier. Okay. So with that being said, let's get into these emails. So I'm going to read these emails to y'all. Y'all ready? Here, let me get in these comments. Hey, Dr. Soapy. Do you offer mentoring to other creators? Uniquely lavish. Right now, I do not. Um, but if you would message me on Instagram, inbox me on Instagram, and we'll chat. And if you have a specific question or something that you need help with, I'll be more than happy to do the very best I can. Hey, Lisa. Barbados. Hey, Gina. Come on, Gina. Manifest me in Barbados, girl. Manifest me in Barbados. What is that song? Manifest me there, girl. Okay, hold on, y'all. Let me, let me get in here real quick. Hold on, y'all. Let's see. Mm -hmm. I heard you was looking for me. Here I go. Where is... Edit. Here we go. Put this here.
Okay. All right, here we go. Hey, boo. Hello to everyone who is in the chat. Now, listen, you guys. Now, y'all know normally I will shout all of y'all out, but I'm not going to be able to do that today. So, I hope that I have some moderators that will make sure everything is good. Hey, boo. Hey, boo. Okay. So, let's go ahead and go to our very first Dear Joy and see what they talk about. Um, okay, so we have a message a couple of months ago. Well, not a couple months ago, about a month ago. One of our girls, her name is Maria Estrada. Is that how you say it? Maria Estrada. She says that she says, Hey, girl, so y'all listening, y'all ready? Type down in the chat if you're ready. Say, Ready. I need to know. Did you go get your drink? Get your drink, get your snack. Is you ready? Cause I'm finna start reading it. Hey, boo, welcome. I'm glad you're here. Hit the like. Hit the like and the share, girl. Ready. Okay, you ready? Ready. Love you from Georgia. Love you. Love you much. Okay, here we go. Maria Estrada. Hey, Maria. Thank you for watching. Maria says, hey, girl, so I've been in a long-distance relationship with my partner for over a year now. He's taking a plane here, Missouri to Washington State, in May for the first time. We've never met physically, and I'm hella terrified that he's going to hate my body. We've discussed it many times, but I still feel when it comes down to the real thing, I can't trust anyone saying I love you for you and not your body. I've been watching your videos and researching about shapewear and body positivity and stuff and such like that, but I can never see myself as someone who could ever be attracted to wait okay i can never see myself as someone who anyone anyone i never can see myself as someone who anyone could be attracted to how do i hype my energy and self-love up for when he gets here Just because, you know, they're like, oh, she made that up. I just want to make sure. Kansas City, hey, boo. So, first and foremost, I know what it's like to, I've actually been, you know what I'm saying, in a long-distance relationship before, and I've gone through that. And I know that it's kind of, so listen, y'all, down below, y'all get the typing and let the queen know what she need to do. Get the, get the. Um, but I've been in that, in a situation before where I have dated someone who I have been Skyping with and I have been talking to, you know what I'm saying, over the internet, but it's still different. Like you can be talking to somebody and talking to them and talking to them and talking to them and getting to know them, but it's different when you meet that person and meet them in person because you always have that feeling like, dang, this person might they might not like me. You know what I'm saying? Even if you've been 100% honest about what you look like, even if you show them your picture, even if, you know what I'm saying, you still are putting yourself out there. And anytime, no matter how much self-esteem you have, no matter how much you love yourself and you're sure of yourself, there's always that little thing in the back of your head that says, dang, you know, what if this doesn't go my way or what if this doesn't go right? Um, I personally believe, for me personally, would put I wouldn't put my insecurities on the table. But if this has been somebody that you've been talking to for a year, I'm pretty sure that he's just as nervous to meet you as you are nervous to meet them. So me personally, I like no pressure situations. So why don't you make it to where there's no pressure? I want you to go as yourself right? I want you to be yourself just the way you are. I don't want you to feel like 
Your confidence depends on whether this person accepts you or not. I want your confidence to depend on how you feel about yourself. So I want you to do whatever it takes to jazz yourself up. I mean, of course, get your hair done, get your nails done, get your makeup, get your perfume, girl, get, girl, you know, get your perfume, do all of that, get your toes done, do whatever it takes to make you feel most confident, right? But you have to have confidence in yourself because listen, this is the thing. What if you meet this guy? Let me just say this. What if you meet this guy? What if it's everything you thought it would be? But what if there's something about him that ultimately turns you off, that you don't like, that you thought you liked, but you're like, mm. like, what if you get with him and find out that he is not very hygienic? Maybe that's a deal breaker for you, right? So just think of it like this. He's going to be nervous too, and you're going to be nervous. You know what I'm saying? So I would just say, don't worry about trying to be someone that you're not, be 100% yourself and build your self-confidence for you so that even if, and I know that a year is a long time to invest for somebody to start acting shady, but even if y'all meet and it doesn't go very well, that doesn't mean that it's the end of you or the end of your journey. So your first number one focus should be on making sure that you are safe. You know what I'm saying? That this is someone who, you know, has your best interest at heart, that you're safe. And then also that you feel good about yourself, even if the worst case scenario, you meet him and things aren't what you thought it would be. You got to still know that, you know what? That just means I'm one step closer to the man I want to meet. So everybody just, hey, boo. Hey, Shakita. Y'all help Maria out. Give her lots of love and support and let her know, like, if you have a personal situation to where maybe you met somebody online or maybe you dated somebody or something like that, um, put down exactly what you would do in that situation. Like, however you feel about it, put it down, okay? Because... We need to know. Help us sister out. So that's to Maria Estrada. Maria, we love you and we support you. And I hope that it goes great. Hey, boo. Hey, boo. And listen, no matter what happens, let us know and keep us, you know, keep us posted at what happened, girl. Because listen, let me tell you something. We all are rooting for you, girl. We all rooting for you. Okay, let's go to that was the one about long distance. Okay, let's go to the next one. Okay, so this is another one, and it's titled, Dear Joy, My Dating Woe. Let me see. Yes. Um, Ashaka Black. Hello. I'm not doing a lot of shouting people's names out. You know, I typically shout people out, but I'm not doing a lot of shouting out tonight only because I've only got 30 minutes and I got to hurry up. Thank you so much for the super chat, my beautiful baby. I love you so much. Thank you so much. And I appreciate you. Um, If you are new and you watching me for the very first time, please let me know that you are new. We love you and we want to love up on you because that's what we do over here. We love up on you. We not messy over here. You know what I'm saying? I have a troll. Let me see. Where's my moderators at? Hold on a second. I'm, I can't even, where my moderators at? Where y'all at, girl? Hold on a minute, let me see. Here we go. Let me, um. Thank you, baby. L, is it LB?
Okay, I think the fear of rejection is something that we all deal with. I have upper teeth. I'm missing two teeth on this side because I was rear-ended um, by a drunk driver who did not have citizenship. And when they hit me from the back in my car, my head went forward into my steering wheel and I bust my teeth. So I have teeth that are missing on this side. Um, and because I of my weight and some other blood things that I'm getting healed, my body is healing itself and my anemia is healing itself. And because of some other things that I'm getting in a line, I'm not able to be put to sleep. But my type of dental work, I will be needing to be put to sleep. Um, that is my choice. And once I'm ready to be put to sleep, and have my dental work done. I'm going to get an all on four. Well, all on six procedure on my top, which is going to, it's going to be costly, but I'm really excited about it. And I think God is going to bless me to get it done. And so once I get that done, then I will have, my teeth will be fixed and I will have a perfect smile again, like I did when I was younger. So if you would like to donate to that, or if you would like to pay for that, then I'll be more than happy to accept your donation. But if you're not willing to pay for it, then I don't really think that you should have anything to say about when I get my teeth fixed and when I don't. I'm not quite sure why that's your concern. It's kind of weird if you ask me, but hey, um, I don't mind answering questions about it because see, listen, I'm not ashamed of who I am. I'm not lying about who I am. I'm not pretending to be someone that I'm not. I'm being joy. I'm not pretending to be someone else. I don't have an identity crisis. I love myself. So I, you know, you can't attack me with my truth. What can you say? I'm fat. Can't, are you saying that I pay for love? I'm buying love. I'm, I'm paying to be with Chris. Okay. Um, I'm missing teeth. Okay. I, it looks like I still have the same amount of people on here that I had before. So I'm not quite sure. Not quite sure what your point is, but okay, baby. Anyway, so bless your heart. So the next one, y'all, this one says, Dear Joy on my dating woes. Um, hi, Joy. If you read this, please keep me anonymous. Now, y'all, if y'all send me a Dear Joy letter, y'all, please make sure, please make sure y'all tell me if y'all want it to be anonymous, okay? Because if you don't want it to be anonymous, then I don't know, okay? So make sure you tell me you want it anonymous. So this one says, Dear Joy, on my dating woes, okay? So we got a long one. So let me hurry up. Y'all ready? Thank you, Jacqueline. Listen, I'm just keeping it real. It is what it is. I mean, it is what it is. Am I too big? Probably. I probably need to lose some more weight. Am I taking too long to lose weight? Probably. But that's my motherfucking business. That's my business. I mean, what, I mean, you're giving weird. Your, your, your vibes are weird, sis. Or bro. Your vibes are just, you're giving weird. I mean, what? Okay. Anyway, y'all ready? Put down ready. Judith, you ready? Okay. Ashaka, you ready? Jamira, okay, ready. Hey, Susan. Okay, if you read these, please keep me anonymous. I was watching one of your videos recently where you were talking about the benefits of YouTube in the Patreon communities that you built. And I have something that I wanted to discuss with you to get your take on it and to see if any of the other queens can help or relate. Later, Lately for me, dating has been absolutely horrible. During the pandemic, Several men I have dated before have reached out to me to apologize to me for the way they treated me and to let me know what a great person I am. How they were in the wrong. Okay, that's a comma. Wait a minute. Let me read that right. Before, okay. 
several men that I have dated before have reached out to me to apologize to me for the way they treated me, comma, and to let me know what a great person I am and also how they were in the wrong, etc. Why do, okay, so this is a new sentence. Why do grown men still take so long to find themselves and mature enough to put their pride aside and admit when they are wrong? It has taken a toll on my mental and emotional wellness to go through this routine of having men be rude, disrespectful, cutting them off, and months later, having them damn near beg to have me back. I know I'm a good person, but it seems common that the people who date me realize then when it's t- realize this when it's too late and want to victimize themselves when I want nothing to do with them. Does anyone else experience this? I hope that I am not alone or that I'm not the only one. Hey, B. Um, are men not holding each other accountable? Thank you, and I hope you are doing well. So in your experience, ladies, do you feel... I think that there's a lot of different things going on here. Hold on a minute. <laughs> wait a minute oh god wait let me scroll back up i gotta find this comment wait 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 <laughs> it went so fast but i know it said what i thought it said hold on a minute wait 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 y'all stop typing i'm trying to find this comment wait Oh God, not the <laughs> it's the stimulus check for me. Girl, they wanted to get stimulated. <laughs> I can't with y'all. I can't deal with y'all. I can't. Y'all crack me up. <laughs> Shay, what's up, girl? I love you too, Enchanted Journey. Because they are testing the water. Mm, They are testing the water. Okay, so I personally, I don't know if men are holding other men accountable because I think it just depends on the particular men. But there's one thing that I really would like to say, and I hope that I want you ladies to let me know if I'm saying this in a way that is respectful because sometimes y'all know I tend to say things the wrong way and people misunderstand me, but I hope what I'm saying makes sense. Okay. So what I want to tell to all my plus size ladies out there is that sometimes we have a man problem that doesn't have anything to do with our size. Sometimes we have a man issue that's because that is not a good quality man. But it doesn't matter if we look like Holly Berry or if we look like Monique. If we met that man, right, he was going to be the same quality of man. So I just want to start there. Today, and I know for us, especially me, I have a bad habit. Y'all who've been with me for a while, y'all know. Oh, hey, Amanda Panda. (laughs) I didn't know that was you. Um, Y'all who have been with me for a while, y'all know that I have made that mistake of blaming everything on my way. Oh, the reason why I'm having trouble at work, they don't like fat people, or the reason why this person is stalking me or harassing me is because I'm fat. If I wasn't fat, I wouldn't be going through that. The reason why people are, but listen, sometimes there are certain things yes like for example if i wasn't so overweight i probably wouldn't have so many issues with going to the doctor and finding good quality health care however i still would have issues i'm a black woman i still may face some type of phobia let me just put it to you like this i was scrolling right and i was on facebook 
And I saw this lady do this video and she was a straight sized woman, beautiful woman, traditionally beautiful. And she said she was talking to another plus size woman who had recently, I love you too, Jasmine. Thank you for the five dollars. I had went um another woman who was plus size had been rejected by this man, right? And the girl was really, really upset because of the, the here, let me show y'all. I took a screenshot of it. Hold on. Let me just, I'm just going to show y'all. Y'all listen, I'm all about receipts these days because people don't believe nothing you damn say. Let me see. I took a screenshot because I wanted us to talk about it. So let me find, let me find the screenshot. Okay. Here is the message. Y'all let me know if y'all can read it. Here is the message that the guy sent the plus size girl. Can y'all read that? You didn't get to see it? Okay, here. So basically, this girl, so basically, this beautiful girl, okay, she had a date. She was plus size. Now, y'all, I'm going a, I'm to a try to post everything on Facebook, and I'm not posting her business because she went live to talk about it. So it's not like I'm posting something, you know what I'm saying? She already was, it's already all over the internet. So basically, this girl, real beautiful, plus size girl, and she's not even dark skin. She's like, she's like a brown, like a caramel color, not even dark skin. Okay. So basically, what she did was she was really, really upset because she said she was getting ready for her date and she was super excited about the date. And all of a sudden, she texts the guy to say, Hey, guy. You know, I'm ready for the date, right? Hey, boo. She's like, hey, you know, I'm ready for the date. Where are we going? Blah, blah, blah. And then he sends her this text message. He sends her that text message. So, of course, she gets really, really upset, right? Well, Maria, the person who the message was sent to cares because they were they have been dating this person and they and they had was considering being intimate with this guy. This guy was almost intimate with them. And so just think, what if you have been intimate with a man, went on several dates with them, and then you get a message like that? That would be very hurtful. And this young lady was crying, crying because she was devastated. And she said, I'm so tired of being big. This is what I deal with being big, right? You see what I'm saying? So another young lady, beautiful. Oh, wait, thank you for the $20. Thank you so much, my beautiful baby. I love you so much. Thank you. Um, so another young lady who was traditionally small, she was not heavy set. She made the comment and she said, listen, it has nothing to do with your weight. 
because now that jackass is going to leave you but come try to date us. At least with you, you dodged a bullet. We didn't dodge a bullet. We don't have the same filter to realize that a guy is a jerk because that guy is still a jerk. It's not like he's going to go get a straight sized woman and treat them any better. And when she said that, it was like, ding, 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 like a light bulb. It turned on for me because it made so much sense. I was like, damn, that's true. And so that's why I'm just saying just because somebody is a jerk, right, Jerisha? Just because somebody is a jerk to you as a big woman doesn't mean that they're going to go be this great knight in shining armor to a skinny woman. No, they're going to still be an even bigger jerk to a skinny person. What I'm trying to say is no matter what you look like, a man can be a jerk. Do you see what I'm saying? You Right, she dodged a bullet. That's what I'm trying to say. That's why I love talking to y'all. That's exactly what I'm trying to say. She dodged a bullet. But of course, it hurt. You know what I'm saying? She didn't see it that way. But I try to post everything on Facebook so y'all can see what I'm talking about. Because I know when somebody else is talking about something... It's hard to understand it, but when you see it yourself, it kind of brings everything to full circle. You see what I'm saying? Okay. If you're just tuning in, we're having a girl talk, queen's talk, and we're weighing in on some Dear Joy letters that were sent to me and different topics. You know what I'm saying? So that's what we're talking about. Hey, boo. Okay. So let's go to the next one. <clears throat> Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. Sorry, girl. I didn't mean to drop you. You okay? Thank you for the compliment, y'all. I love y'all so much. Right. 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 If there is a bad man, there is a bad man, no matter who he encounters. Correct. Exactly. That's a hundred percent right. Thank you guys. I love you so much. Okay. So the last one we read was y'all. Did y'all put y'all dating advice? Y'all say y'all think they was looking for a stimulus. So that was basically what we concluded that just because you're going through something, it doesn't mean that you're, it's because you're big. It could be just because the man just ain't no good and you dodged a bullet. And also, um, another thing, in my opinion, continue to be yourself and the right one will find you. Keep making sure that you're continuing to work on yourself and better yourself. And the one that's supposed to be with you will be with you. Thank you guys for all of my compliments. I love you so much. Thank you. Okay, now let's go to the last one. Well, we got two more. Hold on, let me pull it up. Let me see. This one's a long ass email, y'all. Hold on, let me see. Y'all put it down in the comments. Y'all ready for the next one? Is you ready? Let me know if you're ready. This is, I think, I don't think she said, I think she said I could say her name. Now, this baby is pregnant, so congrats. Okay, y'all ready? Y'all ready? Ready? Okay, good. So this one says, I think my husband betrayed me. It's not what y'all think. It's not what y'all think. Okay. Hey, Joy, I reached out to you on the topic from YouTube of being friends with your friend's enemy. Y'all remember when I made that post that an enemy of your friend is what to you? So this is kind of in response to this. Look, it's long. It's long, girl. Okay, so 
I'm just going to get into the backstory. So my husband and I were using the same hairstylist for several years. He had been getting his cuts from this particular stylist way before he knew me and was the one who introduced me to them. I became a client about three years ago. My son, who was three years old, was getting his hair cut. So a whole family affair. Things were fine until I started having some frustrations with her because she was unable to color my hair the way I wanted. She would constantly talk to me out, talk me out of my choices. I believe because she didn't know how to do it. Several other instances were I felt disrespected in her chair. For example, she waxed her armpits during one of my appointments. How gross. She would constantly be gossiping about other clients and many other unprofessional things. It irritated me. Also, my son would scream and cry every time she cut my hair. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Every time she cut his hair which I thought was normal until I took him somewhere else and realized that he just didn't like her. Anyway, at my last appointment with her five months ago, she did the usual talking me out of the style that I wanted and making the appointment all about herself. Things got sideways because I, car I called her out and a lot of ugly words were exchanged between both of us. It was very clear to me that I would not be going back to her, and I doubt she wanted me back after that type of a verbal altercation. So I go home, I tell my husband all about it, and he appeared in the moment to take my side and agreed that he also would not be going there anymore as well. So let's recap. Her, she's married and she's got a baby and a three-year-old. Her husband introduced her to her to his barber, which is a woman, to do her hair and cut the baby's hair. But every time she went there, she felt like the stylist was very unprofessional. And y'all know how when you go to a hairstylist and let's say you want to cut your hair, hey, boo, or let's say you want to, hey, baby, let's say you want to cut your hair or color your hair or perm your hair or go natural. You know how they'd be like, no, girl, you shouldn't do that, da, 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 because they don't feel like doing it or they don't know how to do it. Well, that's what she was going through, okay? So for those of you who just joined, I wanted to get you up to date, okay? Y'all make sure y'all hit the like and the share. Anyway, so she done went home. She told her man about it, okay? Now, fast forward. Okay, wait, wait, wait. He appeared to take my side. He agreed with me, and he said he would not be going there anymore as well. Nothing else was said about it or talked about it. Fast forward five months, I'm ordering food. So she has his phone. She's using his phone to order food, right? And a message pops up. Come for, oh, Lord. A message pops up from the hairstylist. Confirming a hair appointment with you know who. I looked through the messages and realized that he never stopped going for five months. He still was going and talking to her. So week after week, month after month, he was continuing the relationship as a client, knowing how she felt and lying about it. So she says, I went off and we had the worst argument of our entire marriage. I feel so betrayed. I feel hurt and angry. And the timing could not be worse because I just found out I'm pregnant. Other than this instant, he has been a very good husband to me. But now, but how... How can someone lie for five, wait, how can someone lie for five months with no kind of remorse? 
I don't know how to even trust him again. He has apologized to me profusely. He swears. This time, he's not going to hurt anymore. But I feel like the damage is basically already done. Am I just overreacting? Because I think she's saying because she's pregnant. What would you do? Ask the Queendom girls, please. I need opinions. But please keep in mind that I am currently pregnant. Thank you so much, Joy. I love your channel and I respect your opinion and I really hope to hear back. Now, we're going to call our baby. This is So listen, I need y'all. Now y'all, <laughs> damn, she said he ain't no good. God, no. <laughs> Bae, stop laughing. Bay in there laughing and ear hustling, y'all. Jerisha says that's weird because that's not even nothing to lie about. Welcome, Dishing, dishing with Des. Welcome to all my new subbies. Can you guys please make sure that you subscribe? Put your notification notification bell on. If you have not subscribed, if you're watching on the playback, welcome. We are so happy that you are here. Thank you so much for taking time to watch my video and interact with me. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. I'm honored to bring you content. If you don't know me, listen, I'm a plus size girl. I love clothes. I love fashion. And I love chilling with y'all. And I just really, really appreciate each and one of my subscribers because I feel like there would be no me without you guys. And I feel like I'm going to be honest with you guys. Y'all know that I YouTube makes me mad. And every now and then, <laughs> I go through different stages where I don't really want to deal with YouTube. Y'all know that, right? <laughs> but I love you guys. It's not you guys. It's just the platform sometimes, right? But anyway, okay, this is what, let's see what some, let me see what y'all saying. Okay, so I feel like, hey, Lakia says, okay, so I feel like there was more than a haircut relationship going on. I mean, something like that, just keep it real and say he didn't want to stop going. There is so, wait, there so is there more to it than what we know, just saying. I don't know. I think he's sleeping with the hair. Oh, God. Okay, let me go back up. Let me see what Maria said. Hold on. Pregnant or not pregnant? Life with Julie says pregnant or... Where the... Pregnant or not pregnant? I wouldn't trust her. Why did he continue to go to her? Why did he lie? I don't think you're ready for the truth. The truth is... He did totally betray your marriage, okay? I I don't think it's just her. And I'm just going to give you guys my opinion. Um, yes, Shirley, I, um, I don't think I know rising, but sun and uh, moon, yes. Um, let me go up. Okay. Okay. Honey, yeah. can you come here for a second, please? No, babe, no. Just, I just, this literally is gonna take two minutes. I promise. No, babe. What you need, babe? <laughs> That's it. What? Just for two minutes. I want to miss some good jokes, babe. <laughs> just for two minutes, literally. 
Two minutes. Okay. All right. What's going on? So the late, so this lady was going to the same hairstylist. I mean, this man was going to the same hairstylist mm -hmm. for a really long time before he was married. He got married. He told his wife about the hairstylist. She started going. The wife and the hairstylist got into it. They fell out. So she stopped going. Mm -hmm. She told her husband about it. He said he would stop going too. And in the moment, he agreed to it. Five or six months later, she was going through his phone to order some like Uber Eats or something like that on his phone. And messages came up from the hairstylist that they had been communicating. When she looked back, he never stopped going to her. Oh, well. What do you think? I was totally dishonest. Okay. I think they, they came to an agreement based on the situation. They should have stayed, you know, they both should have stayed with the agreement. But he violated it. So that was wrong. Do you feel like that means he's sleeping with the hairstylist? Doesn't mean he's sleeping with her, but you came to an agreement not to see her because of the disrespect, because of the falling out, because of the way the situation. So doesn't mean doesn't mean they were sleeping. Doesn't mean they ever slept. But the situation arose where there was a falling out, and the family should have stayed separate. So as a man now, so what? So as a woman. How should she handle it? Should she tell him how she feels? Should she talk to him about it? Absolutely. Bring it up. Ask him why he's still, you know, seeing the same, seeing that what, 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 why he's being dishonest with her, doing go behind her back. Is it something to end the relationship yeah. over? Not necessarily. No. No. Okay, but it could be. Do you feel like it? Could it's a problem. It's an issue. It needs to be addressed. Okay. All right. It That's needs to be addressed before there is any further. You know, we don't know what the situation was even be when they were seeing each other. Yeah. You know, but it doesn't sound that, that would be grounds for dismissal or anything. Okay. All right. Thank you. Welcome. So the girls say um he put the so I'm gonna do one more. He put the well-being of the stylist before the well-being of his wife. She has a right to be angry and he needs to explain himself in this lie. Thank you, D. I appreciate you guys so much. So listen, um, to the to the queen who wrote this email, I just want to say we love you, we appreciate you, and we support you. And I feel like you are justified in the way that you feel. But I also tend to agree with the queens that the devil is busy. I don't know that this alone is grounds for any type of divorce or anything crazy, it definitely is grounds to be upset or hurt. And it's not because of the betrayal per se, but it's more of the lie for me. Maybe not for the queens. I can't speak for all the queens that are watching, but for me, it's the dishonesty. Like, cause now in my mind, I feel like you broke our trust and now I don't know if I can trust you with other things. So that's the part that bothers me. Um, what I would do is I would definitely talk to him, maybe get counseling or get a third party involved because he's going to have to understand that he broke your trust and he needs to rebuild it. And I definitely would be looking at him, but you're pregnant you do not need to be stressed out. You need to be enjoying your pregnancy. Being pregnant is an absolute beautiful thing. Being a woman who's married and having a baby, you are literally creating life. And right now, you do not need that. You need support and love while you create life, girl. <laughs> you don't need that BS. So I would definitely be careful of your energy because things like this happen and they come and they will steal you and suck you dry of your energy if you allow it to. So I would say every time you get mad about it, go buy something, go shopping, go to the spa, go have a snack, go get a pedicure, train yourself to relax and teach yourself how to manage. I'm sorry, you guys, I'm looking at the wrong way. Teach yourself how to manage your state. So that way 
you don't allow it to manage you, right? And that way you can talk to him from a place of strength because men, they don't do well with emotions. They don't understand when we get emotional. The only thing that they understand is the facts. And I think in this situation, you could say, listen, you really broke my trust. I really don't appreciate you being dishonest with me. And it makes me second guess whether I can trust you or not. And that's super, super disappointing. And I think that if he's the man that you say he is, he will work and do what it takes to rebuild your trust and make it right. So I think you express how you feel. Don't harp on it, but be clear, be concise. You know, hey, I, I apologize if I overreacted, but I really would like to talk to you about how I feel and leave it alone and walk away and feel how you feel. Um, that's how I feel. That's what I feel about it. I think your feelings are valid and we support you, girl. So listen, if you are a queen that wants advice, now listen, y'all, y'all got to remember, give me a chance because y'all know I be busy. So it may take me time to do the dear joy. So don't get mad, <laughs> but send me an email or send me a, um, a message on Instagram and just put dear joy, explain the situation and make sure, tell me if you want to be anonymous, and I will make sure to read your dear joy. Y'all, when the video is over, I'll put all of the links down below in the description, like the link to Dossier. Shout out to Dossier for sponsoring this live. Um, I really love you guys so, so much. Yes, be prayerful. That's the, that's the thing, be prayerful. Um... Shannon, my mama used to say that. My mama used to say, tongue and teeth fall out, but you both need them in your mouth. Oh, my mama used to say, tongue and teeth fall out, which I don't like to say because y'all know my teeth and my situation. But anyway, I love you guys to the moon and back. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. Thank you so much for watching. And I appreciate you guys. And I hope to see you soon. Um, I hope you have an amazing night. It is almost 11 o'clock. I got to go make some content for you guys. So I wanted to only stay on here for an hour. So I am out. Hey, Jules. Hey, Shannon. I love you guys so, so much. Don't never forget, beauty is a state of mind, not body. And my mind is stuck on gorgeous. What are you thinking? I love you. Thank you to all the Queendom ladies who participated and gave your opinion. Y'all know if you're watching this on the playback, get in the comments and for all these ladies and let them know how you feel, okay? You guys have a great weekend. I love you guys. Good night. Good night, girl. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> we out. If I can find a way out of here, girl, get. Your place is like I do. A place like you do. Time's been moving slowly, so we are ready in too deep. Can't get no sleep on each other. Carry teasing all day, and when the sun sets, you asking me to come to pick it with you. Night and the morning to you, then you. Places, places, places.